right, Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com doing a really quick video recap of the SPY, the S&P 500. The markets was closed uh, Wednesday, December 5th uh, in honor of our late president, uh, George Bush. But I did do a video, I didn't do a video yesterday, but I did a video on Tuesday after we had this massive sell-off and I indicated uh, considering we closed relatively close to the low of the day. The low of the day came at around 269. Uh, we closed at 270. I indicated that we should expect more selling when the markets reopened. Uh, and sure enough, we lost a lot of ground today. Uh, we shed something like, I'm not quite sure, we recovered a little bit uh, towards the ending, of, mid towards the ending of the day, but the Dow, I think at one point was down about 800 points. Um, so let me just uh, pause there and recap uh, overall the same messaging, right? You go to my YouTube page, Short Me Tina, click on all my spy videos or my overall market videos. My messaging has not changed since, um, wow, interesting. Since around mid-October, since the sell-off started back here, uh, so about two months, um, Monday through Friday, daily videos, because I've been doing the SPY, I, I want to say for about two months now, messaging has not changed. I'll tell you what I indicated. I've said the SPY has been trading within a channel, right? The lower end of that channel support comes in at around 260. Upper end of that channel comes in at around 280. I said, do not concern yourself too much with the middle if you're a new trader, if you're a trader that has not uh, seen any sort of, um, how shall I say, if you're a trader that hasn't seen profitability or any kind of consistency, I'm trying to give you a very simple method to trade. One that I love, simple taking the guesswork out, trading the channel or the range. This has worked for the SPY for about a year, dating back to 2017, Briefly, once it hits support of around 260, you get that bounce. Once it hits 280, overall, you'll get that sell-off. And this has been in play, again, for the year, but most recently since mid-October. Let's fast forward to trading action. Just the last three the last three trading days, we've managed to cover that range, right? Going back to, what date was that? December 3rd. The high was 280.40, right? Once it gets there, that resistance level, you can look at resistance as a wall or sellers step in. Sellers did step in and drove this today all the way down to 262.44. That was today's low. Granted, we didn't get to 260, but coming within two points of 260 in my book, close enough, support overall hit and then we got that bounce, buyer stepped in, you see that green bar here, uh, we closed at 269.84. Potentially, we might get a retest of 262, but based on volume, based on this week here, it looks like we're ready to rally again. What else do we have? All right, the IWM, similar theme, range bound, minus this spring, 160, uh, we can call that resistance, 145 support uh, IWM one as low as around 143 43 today piercing resistance rather piercing support slightly and then rebounding again volume stepped in buyer stepped in we closed at 147.20 so messaging today is don't concern yourself too much in the middle when you're trading within a channel if you're a new trader and you're looking for some consistency uh, just concerning yourself with support and resistance. If you're a long only trader, then you'll buy once it gets to support. If you want to take your hands at shorting, then you short when it gets to resistance. There's other sort of um, uh, minutia details uh, that goes into that, but overall, that's the gist. I have one more for you. Uh, a few disclaimers. We are short the S&P 500 in our premium member community, and I am also long the IWM, and we, uh, rather, ticker FEYE, the one I'm, gonna, I'm going to discuss now, was a premium member pick. We got into this trade, I want to say, with a buy zone of around uh, $14. 
uh, somewhere around there, right? So we're sitting here at 2021. This particular stock has been on my watch list for a very long time, right? I want to say if, to free members. Granted, it was a premium member pick. We got into it a while back again with the buy zone of around 1415. Uh, but I also placed it on my free watch list, which is released every Sunday night at shortmeetina.com because I'm very, very bullish on ticker F-E-Y-E. Again, channel, it's been trading within a channel, a multi-year channel for about two years. Looks like we're breaking out. Sitting here at 2021, we're up about 3% on the day. That's not the good thing about this uh, ticker. I mean, granted, it's showing uh, it trade, it's trading positively, right? I want to say it's been trading positively overall for the year, or at least the uh, second half of the year. But what I like it, what I like about it even more, is that it's showing relative strength in this type of market environment. So, what do you think is going to happen when the bull market resumes? Which, in my opinion, in, it will inevitably, right? It's going to come back. So, when that happens, this is going to charge right along with it. It has double written all of all over it, in my opinion. So I'm gonna say it again, put ticker F-E-Y-E on your trading watch list. It's going to be uh, our next double timestamp this. So I'm gonna cut it there. My voice is going. Short Me Tina, once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any part of this video recap, do two things for me. One, head on over to my YouTube page at Short Me Tina hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I do videos every single day. This ensures that you do not miss any. Then head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support.